Salat al-Duha is a very, very strongly encouraged sunnah. It is small in its time frame and yet its reward is massive. One of the things about Salat al-Duha, by the way, unlike Qiyam, is that our Prophet would make long Qiyam, long tahajjud. But from what we gather from the sunnah, Salat al-Duha was not long. It was in fact short surahs. So the whole Salat al-Duha would not take more than a few minutes. And the reason why our scholars say that despite the fact that it is shorter, its rewards are so great, is that duha time frame is typically the time frame when we are busy with the dunya. That's when we go to work, when we're in the fields, when we're doing business. So if we can break away from our dunya routine, even for 10 minutes, five minutes, that blessing is equivalent to a much longer time frame outside of Salat al-Duha. And our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam encouraged us to pray duha in many ahadith. Of them he said, Salat al-Awwabeen hina tarmadu al-Fisal. He called it Salat al-Awwabeen. The term Awwab is an adjective that Allah uses in the Quran to describe the Prophet Dawood and to describe a number of the Prophets. Allah says of the Prophets, they were Awwab. Awwab means turning back to Allah. Duha, as we are all aware, can be prayed anytime from when the sun rises, basically uh, half an hour, 45 minutes after Fajr finishes, uh, until before the Zawal, so before Dhuhr. So that's like five hours on an average day, maybe in the summer, six, seven hours. The ideal time, the best time is right before Zawal by half an hour, a little bit before Zawal. That's going to be, suppose Dhuhr is at 1.30, that's going to be around 12, 12.30. And Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu said, my Khalil, my best friend, he advised me three things. I will never leave them until the day that I die. Number one, he advised me to fast three months of every, three days of every month. Number two, he advised me to pray my witr before I go to sleep, never leave witr salah. And number three, he advised me to pray salat al-duha. And in the hadith in Sahih Muslim, our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, every single morning when the person wakes up, every joint in his body, one sadaqah is owed to Allah. Every joint that you have, you have to give sadaqah. The Sahaba said, how can we give that much sadaqah, Ya Rasulullah? He said, don't you know, saying Subhanallah is a sadaqah, and Alhamdulillah is a sadaqah, and Allahu Akbar is a sadaqah, and smiling is a sadaqah. Then he said, and all of this, every single joint, can be expiated, can be taken care of by praying two rak'ah of Salat al-Duha. If you pray two rak'ah of Salat al-Duha, then the obligation of thanking Allah for your entire body and health and wealth, it is as if you've done it by those two rak'ah of Salat al-Duha. So there are many blessings for Salat al-Duha. And inshallah with this we conclude. Number one, our Prophet called it Salat al-Awwabin. If you want to be in that category of Awwab, you have to pray Salat al-Duha. Number two, our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave it of the specific advice to Abu Huraira. Number three, he considered praying even two rak'ah, which is the minimum, to be equivalent to having done your duty to thank Allah for every single blessing that you have been given. That's the bare minimum that we should do. Number four, our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa added something to that and he said, whoever prays Fajr in Jama'ah, and then sits in his place doing dhikr and then prays two rak'ah, which is the earliest time of Salat al-Duha. By the way, ishraq is what you call duha when it's done early. So if you pray ishraq prayer after fajr, but sitting from fajr until ishraq time, our Prophet said in one report, you will get the reward of hajj tamma tamma tamma. In another report, he said you'll get the reward of umrah. The point being, you will get a massive reward for literally, no exaggeration, 45 minutes to one hour of ibadah. A massive amount of reward for just sitting after Fajr prayer, doing your adhkar, reading Quran, not doing anything of the dunya, and then as soon as it is time to pray ishraq, you stand up and you pray Salat al-Duha. He said you will get the reward of an entire hajj. Brothers and sisters, none of us is going for hajj this year. Allahul Musta'an. Let's at least one of these days try to get the reward of the hajj by performing duha connected to Fajr.